Hello and welcome back to Black Dice Gaming. I'm James and today we're going to be painting up the rest of our dragon, uh, Marduk. And uh, as you can see we've got all its heads done. If you want to see how I did them then you'd have to refer back to the previous video. Uh, but today we're going to be working on the, the main body, uh, its last head, 5 of 5 and its wings as well. We're going to get all that done. So as you can see I've done a black undercut. Uh, then I've done the sort of slap chop method of uh, light grey with a heavy uh, white over the top of that. So we're going to get straight into it. And the first colour we're going to be using is Blood Angels Red contrast paint. And we are basically just going to paint up the entirety of the body uh, in, in this uh, lovely Blood Angels Red. So this is gonna uh, gonna take some time, but it's uh, also gonna show the most sort of progress that we could possibly make all in one go. It's just a case of working it into all the scales, uh, letting that con uh, letting that uh, slap chop undercut do most of the work for us. So it's going to be naturally lighter in the whites, slightly darker in the greys, and darker still on the black areas. Okay, so this is going to take some time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and you're going to see me once this is all done and dry. And so with the red all done, we'll, uh, we'll wait for that to dry and in the meantime I'm going to be doing some uh, work on the stonework underneath. Uh, for that I'm just going to do a, a, a coat of basilicon and grey and we'll probably come back and uh, dry brush that a little bit later on. Nice bit of grey on the base, and we're just going to give that a coat while the uh, the main body is drying. We might as well be accomplishing something. I'm just going to go over all the stonework, all the rubble on the bottom of the base. Okay, so I'm going to crack on and get that done. I'll be back in a few. Okay, so with the uh, red and the Gravelord grey uh, just about dry, uh, we're going to move on. We're going to do a dry brush now, and we're going to take Evil Sun Scarlet, and we are going to dry brush all the skin. Uh, so this is going to bring it up a little bit. So you can see this is a coat of uh, Blood Angels Red. Oh, Blood, it is Blood Angels Red. Yeah, Blood Angels Red. Uh, and then what I've done here, I've just done a dry brush on the arm with this Evil Sun Scarlet. And you can see that it's picked up all the details uh, it's got, uh, giving it a bit more life, a little bit more colour. And that's exactly what we're going to do now on the main body of the dragon. Uh, so we're just going to start building it all up. Quite a heavy dry brush. We want to make that red a little bit more red, a little bit more vivid. Uh, and I would suggest that we be uh, particularly careful not to get it on the wing membranes if we can. Because uh, we, don't, we don't want it there. And it's best to go with and against the grain because uh, we want to not just pick up the edges but also get a little bit of depth to the to the red you can see that it's already making quite a lot of difference uh, with quite little effort and that's what it's all about isn't it maximum rewards for least amount of effort or at least that's my motto Okay, so this is going to take a little while. We're going to be building up the layers. Uh, this is the first of uh, two dry brushes that I'm intending to do. And uh, you don't need to concentrate so much underneath because that's going to be naturally dark anyway. But you still want to get a hint of that colour uh, on the underneath of the model. Uh, so I'm going to continue to go around uh, with the rest of the model. Uh, and then I'll come back and we'll look at the next dry brush. So my first dry brush uh, done, uh, it's looking a little bit lighter now, but we're going to move it up another stage. Uh, and with this time we're going to be using Wild Rider Red. That's one of the hardest paints to say on camera, so I hope you, uh, hope you respect that. Uh, so, uh, actually what I've done, I've painted the arm already, so as you can see, there's a nice light contrast. So we're not going too heavy with the Wild Rider, we're just brightening it all up. 
If we do go too heavy, then we run the risk of turning it slightly orange. Uh, but I hope, hopefully, this isn't subtle enough that you uh, you can see it on camera. And we're just gonna slowly work it in. Again, trying to miss the membranes, uh, but we may have to go and back and tidy up because, unfortunately, dry brushing is. It is a little messy, which is why we're doing it before doing the wings. Okay, so we're just going to build it up a little bit at a time. Catching all those edges, all those fine points, all the scales. Uh, because there's a lot of scales on this model. Uh, like I said, not too heavy because you don't want to turn it orange. Because while dry, the red is borderline an orange colour. <clears throat> So making sure we get most of it off our brush before starting to pick out. That's that's brilliant. That's perfect. Okay, the horns I'm going to do black, so don't worry. Uh, unless you're intending on doing them a much lighter colour, don't worry about getting the horns. That's uh, that's something we can handle later on. Okay, so I'm going to carry on, do the rest of it, and I'll be back. To show you the end result okay so with uh, that dry brush done uh, I'm gonna push it one step further uh, and I'm gonna use uh, fire dragon bright and we're gonna do a really really light dry brush fire dragon bright let's get these side by side you can see I have basically just suggested the color okay and that's all we're going to do. We're just, and we're just going to focus on the at uh, the top of the model. Uh, so all down its back, and uh, practically take everything off the brush when we do this. Practically every bit of paint off the brush when we do this. So it's the tiniest, tiniest suggestion of there being that really bright edge highlight. And like I said, we're just going to focus on the top of the model, down its spine, its face, down its tail. Uh, but just as if we're just looking down from it. So this is where the uh, sort of the source of light is going to hit it at its extreme points. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and finish that off. Uh, this is completely optional. I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference, but it just adds that little more depth to it, a little bit more spice to the uh, the overall model. Uh, I'll be back when I've done. Okay, so with those uh, with that dry brush done of the Fire Dragon Bright, I'm going to move on now. We're going to do start doing the wings, and for that we're going to use Dark Oath Flesh. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, quite a browny, dark browny wash. Uh, dark brownie uh, contrast pen and we're just gonna get it into the wing membranes like so just let it get into all those little nooks and crannies along there and let it just fold fall into all those recesses and creases along the actual wing Okay, try not to let it pull up like I have a little bit there. Just kind of go back with an empty brush and pick it back up. Okay. So I'm going to get this done and uh, we'll be back with the next step. Okay, so with the wing membranes got that coat on them uh, and it's drying, we're going to go back and dry brush the base. And for that, I'm going to be using Administratum Grey. Uh, just a nice light dry brush on the stonework. <clears throat> just to pick out some of the details. There we go. And give it a little bit of texture. Okay. So just being nice and careful. Just to sort of give it a little bit more than what 
what we have so far. We're mainly just catching the edges and just giving it a bit of a colour. Probably got a little bit too much on my brush actually, but I've committed now. So obviously just uh, be careful around the areas that you've already painted. Okay, so I'm going to carry on, uh, get the rest of that done and then we'll move on to the next step. So with the base dry brushed, we're going to go now and work on the uh, the claws, the horns, and that little bit at the bottom of the tail as well. And for that, I'm going to be using a uh, black templar. Uh, we should have done this first really because uh, I'm going to end up dry brushing this in, in administrator grey as well. So that'll teach me. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to work on all the uh, horns and all the rest of it. Uh, just getting it all. Sorry, you can't see that, can you? Just working our way around. Uh, horns on his head as well. Uh, if you have got red on it, like I have, then just be a little bit heavy with the uh, the black, and it should cover. Should cover fine. And then don't worry because we'll come back and we'll dry brush it to get uh, a bit more detail showing through. Okay, so yeah, we're doing the, the tail, the horns, uh, the claws, uh, the bits on the wings here, and uh, the talons on the back. Also going to do these spikes as well on its leg. You see those? These ones here, we're going to do those in, in the black templar as well. And uh, yeah, that'll be about it. So I'll get that done and uh, we'll come back for the next edge. Okay, so we've done all the horns and the uh, the talons and whatnot in the Black Templar. Now we're going to move on and do a, a, a light dry brush on the wings. Uh, we're going to use a skin tone. Uh, the only one I've got is Kislev Flash. So that's what I'm going to use, but feel free to use something that uh, you prefer and what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly lightly dry brush uh, very deliberate very targeted on those areas of the wings uh, the membranes so it just picks up on all the head edges it's just going to give it a flesh sort of color and uh, lighten them up ever so slightly you can see compare uh, wing to wing there, just what we're going for. Uh, so like I said, I'm using Kislev Flesh, but if you want to use something a little bit dark, a little bit more bronzy, which is probably what I would have done had I have had the right paints for it, but uh, you can only use what we've got, I suppose. I don't often paint flesh tones, so I don't have many, I don't have much flesh tone in my uh, palette. Uh, usually I always pick something that's wearing a helmet if I'm going to paint it, uh, just to avoid painting faces. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to slowly move on, just catching those raised areas of the wings, just to give it a slightly lighter shed, like so. Okay, so we'll move on to the other side and uh, I'll be back when she's done. Okay, so the, with, with the wings all done, uh, highlighted up uh, with that Kislev flesh, I did go ahead and paint in his eyes. I used Uriel Yellow uh, to get his eyes done. Uh, the next step is going to be a light dry brush on the, uh, the black areas. And for that, we're going to be using Admin Grey again. Uh, sorry, I wasn't prepared. So we're going to be using uh, Administratum Grey again. And it's just really to bring out some of those edge highlights on those uh, horns on his head. And the horn as the, uh, the spike on its tail. Just here. So yeah, just a light dry brush going against the grain being very careful.
with the red areas uh, just something like that just to make it stand out and again the horns on his head we're just going to slowly sort of catch the edges very lightly just to give him a bit of definition so you can see all the detail that's in the the horn as well okay so I'm going to get that done uh, and at the same time I'm going to block in his teeth uh, so he's got some teeth here as well and it's very awkward to get to with the uh, the horn in the way but I'm going to do those and I'm going to use screaming skull for those so I'll do that and then they're all pretty much done really uh, so I'll do that and uh, we'll see what uh, what it looks like in the end okay so there we go it's uh, in my mind it's fully completed <clears throat> uh, I think we've just about caught everything that we can on this model uh, what an absolute pleasure it was to paint absolute pleasure to paint this model enjoyed every moment of it I'm just being careful because uh, the glue might not have completely set yet <laughs> it's that uh, it's that freshly put together uh, but yeah look at that look at that absolutely gorgeous I uh, just need to uh, color the, the base the rim of the base there and uh, and she's going on the uh, display shelf uh, so yeah uh, if you want to see more of my work uh, follow along tutorials or uh, just learn some uh, handy hints and tips or whatever then please feel free like and subscribe and uh, hopefully I shall catch you in the next one. Rawr.